Glad I, f I finally got to check one of these out. This is the Buck Marksman. I believe this was an SK Blades exclusive, the orange and black wash in S35VN. Right up there by the scale. I know it's kind of hard to see. You can see that it was Rockwell tested. I I don't remember what this one don't remember what this one tested at either uh, I've, I've had them for longer than I thought I was going to and I need to get him back to Jack farm boy so he can do what he needs to do with them but we are going to edge retention test this and I'll say this is even with this this lock bar being kind of jimped on the side it, it's not terribly uncomfortable but it's not the most comfortable thing either this this is probably something I, I don't particularly care for about it otherwise I like the knife the geometry is actually really nice um, most of the way through I measured it at 10 to 11 thousandths behind the edge at 15 degrees per side and at the tip it gets up to I mean, as high as I can measure without falling off, it's, it's about 22, 23 thousandths out at the tip. So, let's go ahead and cut with it and see how it does. I'm curious to see how it does. I haven't had any buck S35VN. This is the first time I ever got to experience it. So, we're going to find out together. Let's see what it'll do.
right so now that we cut with it I don't recall if you saw the first test or the verification test I've really only been showing one of them either one I uh, did do a whole lot of and I've mentioned this before I did a bunch of cut testing at once and I edited all the footage within the same couple days and by the time I saw it I didn't realize that some of the quality of it was it wasn't very good I sped it up too much to try to make it smaller so there's only a few more I believe where you're only gonna see one portion of the cutting but let's go ahead and talk about how it did right now same as always 15 degrees per side 1500 grit finish dropped on 6 micron 3 micron then 1 micron 5 passes per side on the first test and I know Kenny sharpened this Kenny from in the pocket sharpened this once before I did I sharpened it three more times before I did any testing on it the first time I tested it did 116.6 feet fine edge which is pretty good it's the fine edge was a little bit better than some of the other s35 I tested production wise for working edge it did 157.3 feet so you know nothing that I see that this is a this is about as good as any other s35 VN So on the second test, I went ahead and sharpened it again, dropped it the same way. For fine edge, it did 114.6 feet. And for working edge, it did 158 feet. Like I said, that's, that's about what any other S35 has done. They are all kind of grouped together. It's kind of surprising. I, I do have to send a couple of them in to get a Rockwell score and see if they're all close in hardness, the ones I've tested, and how close they actually are. After I cut with it the second time, I didn't film any of it. I just wanted to see how it would respond to stropping. And... It came back really nice, you know, nice enough that I carried it at work for a couple days after I stropped it. Did great. I actually, I actually do like the knife. I, I wouldn't mind picking one up just to mess around with it. Like the geometry on it, it cuts really nice. If I can get it to focus. It, it even though the tip kind of does go down, it's got a got a pretty decent tip on it I I had no worries of doing any kind of damage to this tip at all overall I think it's a pretty good knife I like it um, if it works I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy one but if you know I find one in a trade or something like that because I think I'm gonna start moving some of what I have I had a lot of the same stuff for a long time and I realized that there's a lot of it that I don't carry, so something like this would be a good change, you know, to switch up from what I have. But it's a solid deal. If you have one of these in S35, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Did pretty well. I liked it. Thank you, Jack Farmboy, for sending it so I could check it out and do edge retention testing with it. And as always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.